bit of course it takes time yes, yes. It, it's visible now it's visible yeah okay 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 so i want myself to be introduced so shall i yeah please yes. please my name is nutan and i'm from mathura i'm a homemaker and i run a youtube channel as well i am blessed with two kids thank you okay that's really great you are from sign mathura ah, yeah. famous temple lord yeah Krishna. there are a lot more than 5000 great great mathura it's a great place holy place you know Uh, very sacred it is okay so okay now i am going to introduce myself of course my name is gyanem from up in lucknow and i live in a small village where i like i i talk about my profession so of course i work at my farm also i have some animals i just take care of them and if i talk about my personal work of course i am i have been running this youtube channel for one year and by this way i am getting people to talk i am enhancing my this language so that's all about me okay and as you know i am tanya and i am joining you from jaipur rajasthan that's all about me so today i think to uh, nutan has a topic for discussion can we do one thing like uh, talking about some idioms and explaining i will be talk talking my idioms five idioms and explaining them and then it's all up to you maybe or as i will be saying things yes yes yeah it could be words okay. and and some idioms yeah it phrases. could be words it's not about the idioms it's it could be words any concrete yes you can words. share you can share everything which you know you can share that's really great we can uh, know each other phrases and mm -hmm. words fantastic right mm -hmm. right so first i will be taking to turn a deaf ear to turn a deaf ear means nobody is listening you let's say uh, one example i would like to take here like uh, i'm i i am trying to talk with my husband but he is kind of annoyed with me so he is turning a deaf ear towards me so you understand that yes a white like yeah you can say he is give yeah. he is giving you cold shoulder you can say deliberately deliberately you can say mm -hmm. it happens deliberately many times yeah And the second one could be um, to have an axe to grind, meaning becoming uh, selfish or just extracting benefits from other person. Let's say there is uh, one of my friends and she is, you know, trying to all the time uh, extracting things, basically the knowledge about English. And now I I want some help from her side, and she is not, uh, you know, talking with me. So we are both. not on the talking terms so she is kind of uh, having an x to grind with me so it's clear yes 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 and third could be uh, like a uh, back to square one this means I, like uh, i have done a lot like, i am saying this all the things hypothetically okay they the, these are examples only this is not true so i have been done a lot of uh, i have i have made a lot of mistakes in my life and now i have realized that uh, i was totally wrong and now i have changed myself and uh, in a positive way so i can say myself that uh, i uh, what what i was using back to square one yeah so now i have become that person you can say back to square one in hindi we can say lot ke buddhu ghar ko aaye oh that's it yeah and yeah and, and uh, for, number fourth is an empty vessel sounds much this means uh, i don't know anything let's say i don't know how to sing even if i am blaming the mic that mic is not uh, working properly and i know that my i have, have i am having a like a hoarse throat all the time i can't sing a, sing a simple song even if i am blaming the mic or the environment the situations okay but the reality is that i am not a good singer so there we can use an empty vessel sounds much i don't have that you know trait the quality of singing even though i'm blaming i'm basically yes. claiming that i am a very good singer but i am not okay. yes yes <laughs> yes actually yeah. you are not yeah. think that you are perfect yeah yeah i'm in hindi we can say nachna jane angan tera we can say yeah, like, like with mm -hmm. this 
and the next one next fifth one will be uh, it takes two to tango meaning in hindi we can say ek haath se taali nahi bajti it hmm. takes two to tango maybe you you must have you know yes, understood know. Yeah. yes so i think yeah. there is no need to explain yes okay. oh, so i can share i can share yes yes please okay my first uh, idiom is break a leg it means leg. when you are going in a like a very big work like you are going to play a hockey or cricket match that time we are encouraging that players Uh, that you should break a leg of a opponent uh, opponent team it means uh, uh, to get uh, victory okay and we are doing best of luck yes it is another way to say best of luck next is break the ice it means break the silence if you are in the meeting and you are waiting who will start so okay. where we can use this idiom and third word is broad light it means in hindi din dahare i think this is very common word yeah mm. yeah right in a broad yes. a broad daylight broad daylight yes on a broad cloud day. nine i think we all are aware when we are very happy that time we use this idiom mm. nice nice so now Do you have you have you completed your okay okay now i am going to tell you <laughs> yes not okay. i'm uh, right i have not completed but you know i am giving chance to you that you can also tell us some vocabulary yeah anything you absolutely. can share okay you and uh, very really amazing like of uh, course we can share each other words and mm -hmm. idiom phrase and so that we yeah. can also you know about each other yes. idiom and, phrase. and uh, mm -hmm. we can do one more thing that we can uh, like narrate any small story related mm -hmm. any word yes you phrase. can you, you can, can. Yes. Hmm. So my first uh, like uh, idioms like spill the bean. Okay. Like spill the secret. Bean. Like secret. Hmm. And suppose uh, suppose uh, yesterday I went to my friend's home and I started talking to my friends and my friend asked me, "Hey, Ganem, oh, where are you going in the evening?" I said, "Okay, uh, in the evening I am going to meet my girlfriend." but don't spill the bean to my parents he said mm. okay spill anything to your parents then i like this is all about this idiom like secret. and the second example is like if we are organizing a birthday party so we can say don't spill the beans uh, uh, other friends because i am i am organizing a surprising party for her yeah. secret yeah and second one is that Let the cat out of the bag. Like secret, mm. it is also a secret. Suppose, okay. Mm. Yesterday, I was talking to my girlfriend in the park, and my friend he saw me talking to me, uh, a girl. So, he in the evening he came to me and he said, "Hey, Ganesh, where were you uh, in the morning?" I said, "In the morning, uh, I was at my home." He said, "No, just let the cat out of the bag." It means he was saying that, "Tell me the truth." Mm. I said, okay. I am going to tell you that uh, in the morning I was in the park with my girlfriend. He said, oh. So I just I had to let the cat out of the bag. I told him truth. Mm. And of course, third one is that third one, black and blue. Mm -hmm. Black and blue. Mm -hmm. Next sure. day I was in the market and I was buying vegetables, and. Beside me, there was a very, very beautiful girl who was also buying vegetables. Suddenly, a boy came and he rushed by her. So that that girl started scowling at me. She said, "Why did you touch me?" I said, "Ma'am, I didn't touch you. It could be any other person." He said, "No, you touched me. I I I saw you." And then so many people gathered there and they started beating me, and I was beaten black and. Mm. Too much. Okay. Uh, fourth one is. Uh, fourth one is that. Like caught by red-handed. Range hato pakde jana. Okay. Red-handed. Hmm. <laughs> correct. Yes. Okay. Face the music. Yeah. Mm. Nice. 
something, uh, you are going to be punished by someone. Face the music. So, yesterday, uh, yesterday I was uh, strolling in the park, and I saw so many flower plants, and I plucked some flowers. And then gardener came, and he said, "Why did you pluck so many flowers from here? Now you have to, you have to face the music. Means you have to go through the punishment." I said, I, I didn't know about this that I don't, I, I'm not supposed to pluck flower from here. I'm sorry for that. He said, no, you have to face the music. I said, okay. Okay. So, and uh, fifth one is like uh, a word. It is called sodi. Sodi means keep any, any, like suppose, uh, you have bought something, but that that thing is not good, superior. It's like cheapest thing, bad quality. So, extra day, I was at my home. My friend called me. He said, Ganin, where are you? I said, I'm at home. He said, please come to my home. I want to show you something. I said, okay, wait for 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, I reached my friend's home and I knocked the door. He called me inside. I went inside and he showed me a watch. Mm. But that was uh, that watch was not expensive. So I said to my friend that this watch is sodi. He said, "Why are you saying this? This this watch is really very good." I said, "No, this is sodi. It means bad quality." Mm. Yes. Not angry on me, but uh, I said, "No, it, it is right. This watch is sodi totally." Then he got mm -hmm. sad, and I came back to my home. Okay. Hmm. So, so I think it is enough for today's discussion. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Yes. Only because okay. it was very nice having this kind of discussion. Because uh, it was totally done by you know uh, unpreparation. You can say without preparation, we are doing this. Yeah. Hmm. Impromptu. Yeah. We know so many words, but at, at like at the same time, we it's really, really difficult to recall, you know, to tell. But we know why you know, this, is a nice this kind of activity by this kind of activity and random discussion, we can learn a lot. So I think it is useful yeah. for us. Agree. Correct, correct, correct. Agree, you are spot on. And also our viewer can learn so many so many idioms and phrases from us. Yeah. So this uh, this could yeah. be very important. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Please uh, again tell Yashoda ma'am that I have sent the message. And okay. I'm always, uh, you know, available at 3 p.m. to 4.30. Not 4.30, 5 p.m. I'm available. <laughs> okay. Okay. Of course, okay. I will inform. Yes. Okay, my phone uh, is totally drained. So I need to cut the call, okay? Okay. 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 Of course, we will meet soon. Thank you. We will meet soon. Okay, thank you. Okay, okay, okay bye bye. Okay, thank you, thank you. Bye bye.